So today I've got a couple of absolute beginners, people who have never really caught fish, especially not on the beach before, and I'm going to show them how to catch their very first fish. I've got Minnie here and I've got Des here, and they're both very interesting people, and I'm really hoping to get them on a lot of fish today. Let's get started. If you're a beginner yourself, follow along, you'll start catching fish one after another after another. These tips work really well for people all over the world, so stay tuned. Oh, Minnie, run, run! Drop that, drop that! Oh, no, it's on. You got it. You got it. Yeah, yeah nice lighting. This week, I'm excited to take two new friends out on my new foldable KBO e-bikes. We're fishing with Minnie and Dez, and they're actually adult film stars from California. They've traveled all the way down to Florida to fish with us. Aaron and I are always open to meeting new and interesting people, and we are really looking forward to showing them our favorite way to catch fish on the beach today. So we just got to my favorite spot on the beach. First thing we're gonna do is just look for some bait. So the bait here is really nice because you can actually just pump all of these ghost shrimp out. If you've seen my latest video, I catch a lot of these ghost shrimp just using this stainless steel ghost shrimp pump and you'll find them just by finding the little holes on the beach. So what we're gonna do is just pump them out, find as many as we can, put them on our high-low rigs and get it out in the water as soon as we can. I'll show you guys how to do it first and then you're gonna do the rest, okay? Okay. <laughs> sand moving out of it. Yeah, I see it. So there might be something in there. What we're gonna do is just put it right over top. We're gonna pull this up and push this down at the same time. Push down, pull up at the same time. There! Oh. Oh. Well, there he goes. <laughs> eggs. Yeah, there are eggs. Full of eggs. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. That's gonna do well. Before it's all the way at the top. Before it's all the way at the top, take it out. And then they come it out. I waited too long. <laughs> well. All right, Dez got it now. All right, let's go, Dez. Oh, you're good at it. There. Oh, oh I cut it in half. It's oh. stuck on there. Oh my god. It doesn't feel like anything, but it's funny. <laughs> take it out and switch. Well, look I, at this hole. Did it break your stick? No. It's just barely grabbing the callus there, but it's last. <laughs> grabbing the callus? <laughs> Keep your calluses, kids. Whoa, what is oh! that thing? Wow. That's what a mantis that? shrimp. That's a mantis shrimp. The They're translucent insane. one right there? We watched Those the video. Are... We're scared. Oh, you got one! Get it! Your first one. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel great. It's really gross though, so I'm going to put it in the bucket. Okay, so here's the bait, right? We're going to use the bait elastic here to keep it on. We call this our Invisa thread because it's white. Oh, it's cool. hard to see them. These are kind of hard to put on, and they're really gross to put on. So we're just gonna wrap it up like that. So you went through kind of like, up through the middle first. I did it through the head. That's like sewing with it. Yeah, almost. sewing it because the more times you hook it, the, the longer it'll stay on. Something like that. That's looking good. Okay. And put it down. Reel it in until it's tight lined. So we've got an absolute beginner here. Her name is Minnie. Hi everyone, I'm Minnie Scarlett. I don't fish that often, but I just started, so I was super excited to hit up Hey Skipper, Brendan. Oh, yeah. And yeah, come out here and fish. We've been fishing, me and Ruckus, for like, I don't know. Huh? Yeah, we've been on the road. We're going cross country from California to New York. So we took the southern route this time. Next time we're going up north, so it'll be a different time, but we definitely want to come back and do it again because I hear you guys have crab down here. Yeah, we've got a lot of yeah, crab. Yeah, I've never went crabbing except in Vietnam, actually. I caught one crab and I cooked it. <laughs> so I would love to do it out here in Florida. We don't have that much experience. At least for me, I have like barely none that I could recall immediately. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I live in the Bay Area. Like she said, we're on this trip here. We just kind of reached out. We're like, maybe yeah. they want to fish. We've been we've been watching the videos, learning yeah. stuff. And honestly, it's super helpful. Like, cause I'd rather tie a rig than buy it. So like, anytime someone's gonna actually list it out and like, here's what you do, use your teeth, whatever. Like, yeah, all the little learning. tips. Yeah, we've been so learning I'm... from the YouTube videos, actually. And now here we are in real life. So <laughs> right, it's honestly I've been tying super high engaging. Lows, uh -huh. everything. I'm there like, you go. Hell yeah. Let's get some more fish. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to talk about it, but yeah, <laughs> we're adult performers. So it's not our 
our everyday thing that we're doing this. We are content creators and everything, so it is kind of similar where there's a video camera involved. <laughs> in some ways, yeah. Um, I also do Twitch too, so my name on there is Coochie Main 777. Coochie Main? Yeah. Like Gucci Main? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good one. Oh, mini, run, run. Drop that, drop that. When you feel any kind of like movement, okay, reel in, reel in the line, reel in the line. Yep, there you go. Put this here. Reel it. You're on? First floor to fish? Please. Let's hope it stayed on. Sometimes they come off. Okay, well, we'll cast it right back out. Oh no, it's on! You got it! You got it! Yeah! Right, nice lighting! Awesome! Yeah, nice job! I got a fish! Good job! <laughs> Good job, your first fish! <laughs> hey, Minnie, go run and grab that. No, 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 right here, middle one! Middle one! Grab it! Just start reeling, just start reeling it in. Is it on it? Yeah, there you go. I think it's on there. Oh, she got a big one. Wow. Good one. Yeah, it is a big one. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Nice. A lot of fish today. Wild. Yeah. It honestly hit within 10 seconds of dropping it in again. Ooh, look, look, Aaron. Oh, Ooh, oh. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, it's, it's just tiny. Is that too small? Too small. I think it's too small. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's keep up. the bigger ones, you know? Yeah, I mean, there's, and there's so yeah. many other ones. In here. That's like a really important thing that a lot of people don't think about. Yeah. Is that when they're too small or they're really big, you gotta let them go. Yeah. A lot of people keep everything. But when you keep everything, you look at countries like Asia, yeah. they keep everything, yeah. right? And then there's no fish there anymore. Yeah. So yeah. it's really it's really important to keep to, to keep letting them go. Yeah. Right. The big ones, they're the ones who make the babies. Right. And they have the genetics to get so big. Yeah. You got to keep them in the water. The small ones, they're just babies. They just need a chance. Yeah. Let them go, let them grow, right? Yeah. Pinch it hard, pinch it hard. There you go. That one on the end was bouncing too. Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're on? Oh, you got one! I'm gonna put you back on now, okay? You are a natural, you're good at this. It's being Vietnamese. Is the Vietnamese? It's, a, it's the Vietnamese literally in, in our blood, we're supposed to be fishers. <laughs> That's a good one. So how much how much fishing have you done in your life? Um, a long time ago I used to fish a little bit. Like I have the knowledge. By yourself or with your parents or who? Not with somebody, but I don't really remember that much of it. But every now and then something familiar will happen. I'll be like, I'm supposed to do it like this, right? Yep. That's how it is, like riding a bike. Like if, if yeah. you knew how to fish before, when you get back into it, when you start remembering it, that's when it's fun again. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I caught the fish, it was fun again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, woo! The dead is on one. A sick one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh it's, a, it's a jack. Oh, 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 what the f is that? It's a jack. 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 This is for bait. Nice. These things get like this big. They get like huge. Really? Strong. Yeah, they're really strong. Damn. They're, so the tides go like this. For six hours, it comes in and it gets really high. Then for six hours, it goes out and it gets really low. So the in-between where the water is moving in is usually really good. Okay. When it stops completely, so at the top of the tide or at the bottom of the tide, it stops for an hour and nothing happens. It just starts to be really calm. Um, during that slack tide, there's no fish, okay. usually. When it starts to move again, and the water starts moving again, it starts to stir up all of the bait, all the fish start to come back in again. Okay. So if you're looking at tides to go for fishing, you want to go during, you want to be there at the slack tide, set up, and when the tide starts to move in or out, okay. that's the time to be there. I have the little app for oh, oh. California. Get it. That's <laughs> mini. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, you caught a palmetto. That's a palmetto. 
Whoa! <laughs> That's a this good is one. A beautiful fish. Wow. wow. Good job. Nice. Ah. You're catching so many fish today. This is a Spanish pompano. Oh shit. Yeah, you, they, Spanish know. pompano have the stripes and these long fins. Regular pompano don't have stripes and they have short fins. Are these little spikies? Yeah, yeah they they're little spikies, but feel it. Ooh, they're slimy. Really smooth. I have a whole nonprofit that we start. I started. It's called Avril Heels. Um, we started it after my friend died of suicide, unfortunately, last oh, August. So sorry. Yeah, so it's coming up on a year. So we had like a one year benefit show mm -hmm. and uh, we had a whole great line of comics. I did my set as well. I sang like a little bit, play guitar. Um, oh, so you yeah. sing and play guitar too? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Des plays guitar too. Wow, so um, you do a little bit of everything, huh? Yeah, yeah, just performing in general, production. Uh -huh. I went to like a performing arts school, um, okay. high school and stuff in the Bay Area. So I, it's always been like something I'm into, you know yeah. what I mean? Like the whole kind of like fishing as a production, right? Like you have all the equipment, you have all the right things, and then all of that coming together is the finished product. So everybody sees like the fun part, everyone sees the like acting yeah, part, the fun, exactly. da -da -da. but no one sees the um, ripping apart the ghost shrimp. No one sees all of the, <laughs> yeah. the ugly parts. The so. grind of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they the don't, grind they of don't it. want to see it either. I think no, a lot of times don't. they just want to see the beautiful ending. Absolutely, with the beautiful ending. <laughs> At the end, they just want a happy end. That's all they really want. I mean, you said it, not me, Brendan. <laughs> this is like the PG-13 episode. Yeah, PG-13. Let's keep it PG-13. Yeah, so if you're 12, get out of here. <laughs> Woo! Whoa, that's a good one. Whoa. Oh, nice. That's oh. so beautiful. Another fish by Minnie. <laughs> Another fish by Minnie. What is this? Big whiting. Ah! Nice. Oh, nice. Hey, Dad. Manny, I got you guys something a little small. Whoa. This is our uh, this is our bait box. <gasps> We've got Yay! all of our products in here. We've got oh my you know God. these rigs. Whoa. They're already pre-tied. I want you to try them when you're back in the Bay Area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of floats. We got Skibiki rigs right here. Oh, thank you. That's good to catch bait. And then we've got rig spools and then bait elastic. Wow. Nice. Yeah, there you go. So when you're back in the Bay Area, you've got some stuff to fish with. Yeah, we'll sign updates. Yeah. yeah, I want to see some updates. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank no you so problem. much. This is perfect for if you, if you don't fish, you yeah. just tie it on and you just cast this it is out. so cute. And those float beads too, like we've seen them on the channel. We really wanted to get some. Yeah. Like, all the ones at the shop we looked at, they're kind of weird. They don't look as good. Yeah, and yeah, the lines, don't. like the, the holes are drilled kind of funny. Like, yeah. I mean, they're cool looking and like, like shells or something, but it's hard to feed through, and I was like, yeah. I want to get the floating ones. Yeah. I think you'll like these ones. So give these a try back in your area. I I'm think excited. you'll catch a lot of fish. Because I, I bring this everywhere I go. The same rig that I tie up in there. Okay. I bring it every country I go to, and I catch fish everywhere. Oh. They're doing really well. Nice. Ooh, That's a good lighting. Get it, run. Get it, run. A lot of them too. Yeah, there was like the pompano, there was the ladyfish, and there was the whiting. I think you got really got the hang of it by the end of it. Yeah. Even catching the bait and all that. Yeah. So that's it. It's really actually a lot more simple than you think. The most important part I think is just to get out there on the water and just try and fail, try and fail. You'll get something. It's always something different on the water. And here at Hayskipper, we want to help people just catch fish and enjoy nature for all of its glory. 
If you guys want to learn more, visit our website, heyskipperfishing.com. I have tons of products, tons of information, information on there that can help you get on fish. Um, we're going to go back and cook these up, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I want to give a big thank you to KBO Bikes. We couldn't have gotten out here with our friends without these awesome foldable, portable bikes. They worked really well on the beach, and um, you know they're awesome because they can fold up and they fit in your truck or they fit in your car really easily. You can just take two of them out very easily. They worked really well on the beach and they had no problems on it. I mean, I know Minnie is not great at riding a bike. She, she has a little bit of trauma with it. But the bikes work great for her and I just wanna give you guys a nice shout out. If you guys don't have an e-bike, KBO is a really affordable bike that you can get as opposed to my other bikes are a little more, more high end. It's a really great entry level bike for you to try. KBO.com. Just check out their website. I'll include it in the link in the description below. But it's an awesome way to explore your, your area, to really get to areas that you're never really going to get to by foot. Um, and it's just really easy to use.